so far to Harbor Wolf. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand. Well, it's finally happened. The proverbial hammer has been dropped on everyone's favorite idiot, Natalie, oops I mean child lover, oops I mean Nathan Thompson. Let's take a moment and listen to the way Natalie used to introduce himself during debates. So if you guys don't know who I am, my name's Nathan Thompson, I run the official Flat Earth and Globe discussion, 130,000 members in the group, we don't allow cursing or insults. We do have 24,000 people on our block list, so don't come in there thinking you're not going to propose and, and submit first-hand science. Well, Natalie can't do that anymore. The powers that be at Facebook decided to nuke his discussion page. It's gone. No longer can Nathan boast about having the largest Facebook discussion group on the subject of the shape of the earth, especially because of his tamper tantrums since the nuking. Of course, he reopened the group. At the time of writing this script, it had around one one hundredth of its original member count, just over 1k members. Yes, I did try to join. I was accepted and then minutes later I could no longer see the page. Not surprising, this is my profile picture. Notice the way Nathan is advertising this page. The Globe Earth was removed from the name, and Nathan is now making sweeping statements that all Globe Earthers, you know, 99.99% of Earth's population must remain silent if they are to be in the group at all. He makes it clear that this is no longer a discussion page, despite the name, but an echo chamber. Take a look at this post, in which Nathan took a screenshot of himself in the process of banning someone for asking a legitimate question. Note that even his own supporters called his behavior into question. One person says, The question is not really a globe-specific question. It's very valid from a Flat Earth perspective. Nathan states he's going to mute him for a month, and said, and I quote, this is not the group to ask questions. He got another reply, from someone who looks to have a flat earth profile picture. This comment wasn't even a question though and nothing about it was even globe related. His own supporters are realizing that his behavior is cultish. It doesn't matter how right you think you are, you have to be able to at least hear the opposing side. You don't have to listen to them. But to outright silence them because you don't like it, I mean, I don't like to reductio ad Hitlerum, but the first thing fascists do is silence opposing beliefs. I guess Nathan and his friends are just too sensitive now. You know, conspiratards used to love the soft nature of today's millennials. They used to love to poke the bear until it got angry and then laugh from the safety of internet anonymity. They used to love to tell everyone that they're triggered snowflakes who can't handle the truth. Now they've come full circle and have become the triggered snowflakes. Take a look at this. Someone shared MC Toon's video about the demise of the group, describing it as disgraceful and without morals. This is the same crowd of people who regularly mocked FTFE for his disability, who called anyone who disagreed with them a pedophile or a Satanist, who hurl every manner of insult and harassment at those who come to speak with them a la Nathan Oakley. However, the crowd has changed. The crowd is now filled with hurt feelings and do not disturb signs. So, I say, let Thompson and his cult go into hiding. I think it's brilliant. Nathan completely disarmed himself with the way he resurrected this group. One of his biggest weapons was the fact that he hosted a very large discussion group about the shape of the earth. Of course, the group is always heavily biased and known to kick people for bringing up uncomfortable truths that confirm the spherical nature of the earth, but now, it can't be hidden behind a deceitful presentation. It is openly, admittedly, blatantly the echo chamber of a cult. Not only will it likely be taken down again now that Facebook is aware of Thompson, but it will further bury his fate. Nathan is determined to go down in obscurity, relegated to the status of a cartoon character rarely heard from, who occasionally pops up and spews catchphrases before disappearing back into his hideout. Bye Nathan. You had a lot to say. You had a lot of nothing to say, we'll miss you. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member or a patron or checking out my merch 
or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a vast cosmic arena. Our imagined self-importance. The delusion that we have some...